one of the most striking, intelligent and unusual cars I've seen in a very long time. It started out in life as an Alfa Romeo 8C, but was totally rebodied and reupholstered by an old coach building company in Milan called Touring. In the 50s, they styled and built sports cars for Alfa Romeo. Later, they designed the Aston Martin DB5 and DB6, along with the Jensen Interceptor and the very first Lamborghini, the 350 GT. That is quite a CV. In recent years, however, they've been reduced to making mildly modified Bentleys and Maseratis. It's been like watching Dame Judi Dench reduced to appearing in a regional pantomime. But now they've decided to bring the lost art of proper coach building back with the Disco Volante. Certain structural and safety related things can't be changed. The seat belt mounting points, the windscreen, the suspension mounting points, they'll be the same on this car as they are on this one. It's like plastic surgery. You can't change the skeleton, but you can change the flesh. And that is what they've done. But has it worked? <laughs> the simple answer is yes. It doesn't shake, it doesn't rattle. It doesn't feel like botched plastic surgery. You don't think every time you go over a bump, oh no, my nose is gonna fall off. It doesn't feel like Michael Jackson. Do you know what it does feel? It feels solid. It feels, and this is high praise for a hand-built car, it feels mass-produced. That said, it does not feel like the car that spawned it. It doesn't feel like an 8C. That's because they've softened the suspension. They've turned it from a stiff B-road barnstormer into a comfortable cruising machine, and I like that. There are loads of cars built specifically to attack a road like this. So it's quite refreshing to find one that allows you to savour it. Savour the views, savour the moment. So it doesn't feel like an 8C. And it certainly doesn't sound like one either. It's the most soulful sounding car I think I've ever heard. It's as though the entire exhaust system is actually made out of Otis Redding. Lift my home in Georgia. <laughs> in for the Frisco. Don't get me wrong, though. This is not a slow car. It has a 444 horsepower, 4.7 litre Maserati V8. Couple that to a super light carbon fiber and aluminium body, and you end up with a car that accelerates like it's fallen off a cliff. Top speed is 181. The thing is, though, driving a car this exquisite, this elegant, quickly, feels wrong. You like pogo dancing to I heard it through the grapevine. No, 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 you can't do that. This, this kind of speed, this is where it's at its best. 
half speed. I don't even feel inclined to drive it fast. I don't want to hang the tail out on the hairpins. So I'm going to put it in auto, put some tunes on the stereo, like so. Pop on a pair of sunglasses and slow on down. And pretty soon you'll want to stop altogether and get out. Because looking at this car, that's really what it's all about. It's interesting how many elements from other things are in that shape. I can see a little bit of Corvette, a bit of E-type. Then there's the, um, I think it was called the Discovery, the spaceship in 2001, A Space Odyssey. I see that at the front. I love the way they paint it gold before they paint it red to make the colour richer. Then there's the name Disco Volante picked out in the seats. Now, I know in Italian Disco Volante means flying saucer, but to me, it's the name of Largo's hydrofoil in the Bond film Thunderball. I love that car. I really do. I think it really is time now to bring out my special e-love face. I was jealous of Hammond when he came out to Italy the other day to drive the new Alpha 4C because to me that thing is special. It's, it's the angel Gabriel. But I'm not jealous anymore because this, this is the full baby Jesus. I'm not going to say it's the best car in the world. It certainly isn't the nicest to drive. The brakes are spongy. You can see nothing out of the back. But as a tool for making you feel special, really nothing gets close. Nothing at all. A Maserati heart, an Alfa Romeo badge, exhausts made out of Otis Redding a handcrafted body to die for. That is one hell of a combination. It really is.